we have heard enough, we have seen enough, we have enjoyed enough. We have been blessed as well, but now we need some advices from our revered principal Maharaj, of valuable words that will inspire all of us in the days to come and in the coming session as well. Om Namo Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya. Let me start with two recent incidents. I remember just one year back, the annual examination of class 11 is over and the results were published. Two brothers, they were twins, were studying in the same class, 11. And they were promoted to class 12 as usual. But yes, it is true that the results were not so impressive. They come from very well to do family and very cultured family, I should say. And the parents are very much concerned about them. So one day, the father came to my office and told, Maharaj, I have one request, don't mind. I wish to take them back home. I wish to take the transfer certificate. I will not go with arguments with you and don't please try to counsel me also. Just take my request as final. Naturally, I was not so happy to hear these words, but I did not tell anything right then. So I advised him that you should approach Revere Secretary Maharaj also. And okay, you come tomorrow and the PC will be issued. The next day, I remember 11 a.m. in the morning, the father came with tears in the eyes. I was also a little bit morose. It does not happen like this that after completing class 11 someone goes. So I tell, okay, please come. So, TC, no? No, Maharaj, please forgive me. Please don't mind. I don't want to take TC. Those two boys are yours. They are more than their parents. They are of the capital. I was thinking that they will be happy if they go home. And that is why I came to you. And I also told you mixed truths and lies that mother is sick, etc, etc. But when I told the same thing to my words, my children, so much I love, love them. But they start weeping, crying. And I cannot see my words crying. I never have seen them crying in front of me. Whatever they need, I will give them. I have the capacity, but I wait. And now as father, I just cannot believe that they will remain happier here more than their home. Tears also came to my eyes and I told him, yes, this has to happen and this has happened. Just some days ago, three, four months back, and the particular student is sitting here, I believe. He was then in class eight, now just promoted to class nine. I'm just telling you as I have heart from the parents. So the winter recess was about to end, just two or three days, and he had to come back to the cabinet. He was busy with some video games or some mobiles. Suddenly mother approached and told, Beta, bus or teen din baki hai, phir dita pit mein jana hai. Instantaneously, he was busy with the game. So all the concentration was on the app or the set. So suddenly, instantaneously, he just turned around and smiled and told, oh great, I'll go to home. 
again. So, this is called Vidya page. Vidya Peet is not the second home. Vidya Peet is not the second home. Vidya Peet is a home away from home. Equal. Now you have two homes. The home that you belong, you used to think, and now this also. And it will remain so always, ever. Dear class 6 students, just welcome to Vidya Peet. It may be so that at present some tears are there in your eyes. But believe us, when you will leave this Vidya Peet, this campus, again tears will come to your eyes. And this we have seen year after year, year after year. Whether you are sannyasins or brahmacharis or teachers or staff members or students or guardians or devotees, we are really blessed that we are the chosen ones to be here. Yes, our own merit is there always. We have come through the tough competition, yes. But more than that, we are the chosen ones. And that will give you strength, that will give you confidence in the true sense of the term. We are children of God. We are children of our Vedanath. We are children of Thakur Ma Swamiji. We are children of the Tapit. Always remember this. In the Kathupanishad, you remember one small boy, his name is Machiketa. And he was also a class 6 boy like you. And he met Yamaraj. And that little boy told, Bahunani ni prathamu, Bahunani ni madhyama, naham kadapi adhama. Yes, I am best among many. I am mediocre. I am some, but I am never the least to anyone. And this is called Shraddha. This is called confidence. This is called self-respect. And this you have to grow in you. And the topic will always help you so that these little saplings who require manure, who require soil, who require water, sunlight, one day it will become a great banyan tree and many will come to take shelter under your tree, a great banyan tree. Yes, Vidya Pit will give you two things. One is protection and the other is opportunity. And you have to add with it sincerity and obedience. And then see the magic will happen. The miracle will happen. The small saplings will grow into big giant can bury in trees and that is our dream and that is Vidya Pit's dream and believe us that all the members of Vidya Pit are always with you your elder brothers they also came some years back like you now see the confidence in them and they will always handhold you to just achieve more and more and more physical, mental, intellectual and spiritual these four aspects you have to develop yourself. And as Radio Secretary Maharaj already told, that only the daily routine, if you just go through the daily routine punctually, you will see everything will come. Power will come, glory will come, goodness will come, purity will come, and all that is excellent will come when the sleeping soul is roused to self-conscious activity. We pray to the Divine that yes, may all these good qualities come to you. Jai Baba Vedanaji ki jai, Jai Bhagavan Sri Dhamma Krishna Dev Ji ki jai, Jai Sarta Devi Mahata ki jai, Jai Swamiji ki jai. Thank you. Thank you.